So, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a micro bit to control two motors using your micro bit Kitronic robotics board. So this is the motor driver board. This is the one you want to use when you're controlling geared motors. Unfortunately, you can't actually control servos with this. You're just limited to controlling motors. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this micro bit, which will be connected directly to it, to control it. In, in a later video, I'm going to show you how you can get a second micro bit and turn that into a remote control to operate this car. So first things first is you've got two different motors with two wires soldered to each of these motors. Each of them two wires is going to lead to one set should lead to your motor one connection and the second set should lead to your motor two connection. The other thing you're going to have is this power clips which I would recommend connecting a nine volt battery to get the maximum amount of um, maximum amount of voltage which makes our our motors turn as fast as possible so once you connect all of that up you take your micro bit now it doesn't need to be connected to this but for the time being we'll just connect it into our board so it just slots into that bit like so then you go into google type in micro bit make code editor We'll actually just do that from the start. So micro bit, a code, click into it there. And you can see I actually have this, this project open already. So I'll open it again. Then the next thing that you need to do, if you haven't done this before, is you need to download this extension, which appears on mine, but won't appear on yours unless you download it down. So you need to click into advanced, then come down and click on extensions. When you get into extensions, you're going to type in motor driver board. Then you're going to select that extension and that will add that thing in there which you need to control your board so the first thing we'll do is we'll take a basic thing and we'll put this up on start so we'll say when we start our program it's just going to show the number one so we know that our program is downloaded to our micro bit and that it works the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have an input for a so what i want to do is when button a is pressed i want one of my motors to roll forwards so what i do is i click on my motor and um, go into motor driver click motor one on direction forward at a speed of 100 <coughs> percent the next thing we also wanted to do is it's going to show some sort of an icon just to know that that button a is pressed this isn't essential but it's good for you to visualize what's happening so when you press that you'll see a heart shape or an x or a tick or whatever icon you put in should show up there so we'll say in this one the correct sign is going to show then what we're going to do is we're going to take this program we're going to click control and c come over here and we're going to click control and v you could drag all of these out manually and do it again the way i did before but this is just going to speed you up a little bit so we're going to say this time when button b is pressed motor instead of one motor two is going to go forwards with a speed of 100 and then finally we'll also change our symbol there so we'll say an x will come up at that point and then actually I might say a heart comes up at that point and then finally, we can copy and paste this again. Or actually, we'll, we might drag these out manually. So we've input, and we'll say when button A plus B is pressed, we're gonna have motor. Now, there is an option there for turn off motor one, but I found that hasn't worked for me in the past. So what I'd recommend is using this, but set the speed to zero. So that's essentially turning it off. So motor one, 
goes on a direction, doesn't matter what direction, but we'll say a speed of zero, which is turning it off. Let's copy and paste that. So control and C and then control and V to paste. Control and C copies, control and V paste. And then we're going to say motor two will go off. And in this one, we'll show an icon. Also, we'll say it will go X when the two of them go off together. When you're finished this, you're going to click your download button and we'll call it test robotics board two. Download it. You see when it's downloaded there, then you're going to right click that icon at the bottom, show it in its folder. You'll see our file is highlighted immediately there. So you right click that, or actually, sorry, my apologies. You click on it and you drag it over to this part here. So you can see our micro bit is connected. It's shown over in our side here. So you drag it and just drop it into that file. Let it load up. So you'll see that for this, press this one, this motor here. Now we had put four words, but because of the way that these two wires were connected into our terminal blocks, it's actually going backwards. Now you can either in your program, you could change this to backwards, which is essentially forwards, or you can swap the wires inside your terminal block. So you could swap these two wires here and that'll also make everything run for it. So you can see our heart is showing, which is button B, and then this wheel is moving. Now let's press the second one, so button A. You'll see our second wheel now starts to go, so our two wheels together. And then we press button A and B together. Our X comes up and the two wheels stop. So in the next video, if you watch it, I will show you how to use the same sort of features that you use for this, but you're going to use a second micro bit to control this um, like a remote control. So you're going to turn this into a remote control car.